I am Anil Kumar and here is a very important video. In this we are going to prove that when we drop a altitude from a right triangle we actually make three similar triangles. So we will understand their relationship and then we will make a base for proving the right triangle geometric mean theorem. So that way is this video is very important. Geometric mean theorem will be following this video where I'll not prove that the triangles are similar but we'll use the concept which we learn in this video right so here we need to identify similar triangles and relate their side lengths so what we have here is a right triangle given to us we need to prove if the altitude is drawn to the hypothesis of a right triangle then the two triangles formed are similar to the original triangle and to each other. So what we are trying to say here is that we have a right triangle ACB, C is 90 degrees and if I drop an altitude from C to the hypotenuse AB which is CD in this case then it divides the hypotenuse into sides X and Y and it forms two different triangles. We will prove that these small triangles are similar to the big triangle and since each one of them is similar to the bigger triangle they themselves are also similar. So we have three similar triangles in this situation. right? So let's start with the triangle ACB. So let's start with triangle ACB and try to prove it similar to triangle so ADC. So let's consider triangle ADC. So if you see triangle ACB, the big one, angle C is 90 degrees, and in the triangle ADC, here we have 90 degrees, correct? So one angle is 90, 90, same. Second, angle A is common, right? Angle A is common in the big triangle and also in the small triangle. And therefore, because of double A, right? A, the two triangles are similar, right? So that is how we can show that these two triangles are similar. Now, let us consider the other small triangle, which is the triangle BDC, right? So let's consider now the triangle BDC and the big triangle, which is because I'm writing BDC, I'll write BCA, right? So, and triangle BCA, right? Now, here also, what we notice is that in the big triangle BCA, we have a right angle. Small triangle BDC also has a right angle. So, one of these angles are same. And then we have B as a common angle. Is that okay? So, again, two angles are same. And therefore, these two triangles are also similar. Now that leads to the conclusion that since these two small triangles are similar to the big triangle, so they are also similar triangles, correct? So we have triangle ADC similar to triangle BDC, correct? So that is how you can prove similar triangles. Now when we have three similar triangles, then ratio of their sides should also be same, correct? Now what we have done here is drawn these triangles separately. So ABC is the big triangle, right? And when you drop an altitude from C to the hypotenuse, you divide it into two smaller ones. So these two are shown here. So this one, we are showing right angle on the top. So this right angle is point D, which is reflected here, correct? And then this is the common point A, correct? And while we are drawing, we just moved it like that and drawn it. Similarly, you have to draw the next triangle. The right angle is at D, which is right there, correct? And then this is one side and that is the other one, correct? So that is how we have the three similar triangles. All these triangles are similar just as we learned just now, right? Now, let us consider ratio of their sides. So let me start with uh, shorter legs over longer legs. Let's consider that ratio, right? So in each, we'll consider the ratio of shorter 
leg over longer leg right so if you see in this so these are the two legs that is the hypotenuse right so these are the two legs hypotenuse that is how we are drawn correct but if we consider this triangle which is triangle ADC then the two legs which we are talking about is X and H right so we have X over H here which should be equal to in this case H over Y correct so H over Y since we have aligned them it's very easy to figure out now from here what you will notice is that let me circle important thing which I want to show you which is consider this block h over x is equals to I mean x over h equals to h over y so if you cross multiply what do you get you get h square right equals to xy correct so this is is the length of the altitude its square is equal to product of the two sides of the hypotenuse which it divides when it drops onto right so that could be written as h equals to square root of xy right so let me write down this relation here and that is h equals to square root of xy right that means that this length of the altitude is geometric mean of these two segments correct so that is the theorem which we are talking about right triangle geometric mean theorem about the altitude we'll we'll write this in the next video next one let us now consider the ratios for hypotenuse and shorter side right so let's do hypotenuse over shorter side right now if you see all these these are your hypotenuse right so C and shorter side in this case is B right so B over X and in this case A over H correct so in this particular case what you observe here is that look into this equation so if you cross multiply what do you get you get b square right equals to c into x now b is this so b is c which is the total length of the hypotenuse into x this is the adjacent side of the smaller triangle do you see that so that is our right triangle geometric mean leg theorem it says b is equals to square root of cx correct now if you do the ratio of hypotenuse to longer side I'm running out of space what you can do is hypotenuse over longer side what do you get so hypotenuse are these three for you let me just squeeze it and longer sides are these so C over A which is equals to B over H which is equals to A over Y correct now here if you cross multiply these two let me take another ink and then show you if you cross multiply I mean we are considering now these two correct so a times a is a square right so we have a square equals to cy c is the length of the hypotenuse correct y is the adjacent side for this triangle right so the longer side is square root of product of these two right so we can write a equals to square root of cy or this longer side is geometric mean of the hypotenuse and the adjacent side so that is the right triangle geometric mean leg theorem so that is how you know we can prove the three leg theorems from the similarity of these triangles go through this video once again we'll summarize these things in the next video we are not going to prove it there okay I hope you understand and appreciate it thank you and all the best